Hey guys, I'm Will from Tested. I'm here today to talk about the Hario Mizudashi Cold Brewer. That's this guy right here. Basically what we're gonna do is fill it up with coarsely ground coffee, add some cold water, let it sit for 12 to 18 hours, get delicious iced coffee out of this. So I actually bought this from Ritual Coffee in San Francisco, and I love doing that because typically Hario stuff comes with Japanese instructions. I don't speak Japanese, but they provide a card with instructions in English. I like that a lot. As always, weigh and grind the coffee. 125 grams may sound like a ton of coffee, but this is gonna make a full liter of iced coffee. So, you know, it'll last for a while. So I'm gonna grind medium coarse, because you want this to sit for a long time. Big pieces are fine. That is a lot of coffee. And you wanna, if you have a funnel or something, it might not be a bad idea to use, because this can get a little bit, oh It's probably okay. Uh, I am gonna open this up and dump any of the chaff that I got in there out. So I'm over here at the office water cooler. It gives us filtered water and it'll be cold. Uh, what I'm gonna do is add enough water that all the grounds get wet, give them a good stir so they get kind of agitated. Then I'm gonna fill it up, uh, up to about right here. And then we're just gonna put it in the fridge overnight. And you can see the water coming down the grounds as we go. I mean, basically we want the wet to be all the way down. Uh, and you wanna kind of get that agitated so that the coffee's in suspension and not just uh, compacted in there. So um, I'm just gonna, now that I've got the coffee all wet, I'm just gonna fill up the, the carafe. You don't wanna go quite all the way up because you don't wanna overflow because that makes a really huge mess as I found out in my kitchen. So I recommend doing the last little bit uh, just straight into the grounds and letting it go the kind of old fashioned way. Uh, and I'm gonna give it another good stir because I, I think this is something you can't really over stir. So next thing I'm gonna do is put the lid on and then put this in the fridge and we'll have coffee tomorrow morning when I come to work. Uh, so by my count, it's been like 15 hours at this point. So one of the things that is a problem with this particular method of brewing is that the filter is kind of hard to clean out. It makes a lot of mess. There's a lot of coffee in there and you have to just get in there with water. And because of the way the filter is constructed, you can't get in with too much of a, a, like a brush or anything because it'll fall apart. Uh, now the good thing is the coffee tastes fantastic. I've got a couple of things of ice here. So one of the downsides is when you add this to ice, as the ice melts, it's gonna water down your coffee. But you know, if you I wanna add milk or cream or whatever, then you can if you're into that whole thing. Or you can make coffee ice cubes by taking some of this coffee, putting it in ice trays, and then using that to keep the coffee cold. Um, I really like this method a lot. The coffee is very smooth, very drinkable, and fantastic on a hot summer day. Uh, I, I'm gonna enjoy this, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Test time, Will. Cheers. That is delicious.